Yo, what's up, Jingle Crew, and welcome back to another Beyond Skyrim Bruma episode. And it's been quite a delay. Uh, hopefully, I'll get back on track, uh, on schedule, I guess, next week. And so, let's get straight on to what we're going to be doing this episode. Now, to date in this episode, we are going to be trying to visit Cloud Ruler Temple from Oblivion. Now, if I remember correctly, it's in this area of the map right here. So, hopefully, it should not be, like, out of the borders, but I guess we'll see. So, I'm just hoping there's a quest, or if there's not a quest, I guess we can just explore Cloud Ruler Temple. Hmm. Okay. What is this? Okay. Anyway, I think I will see you guys there. Huh. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> I did that in one of my previous episodes. I will link that in the top right corner. And we are at Cloud Ruler Temple over here in the top left corner of the map. So let's head inside and see what happens. Oh, this is destroyed. Okay. Okay. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen, but... Oh, that's sad. He's praying, but he died. Anyway, we're going to try to go inside and see what happens. Ooh, this is exciting. So everything's destroyed in here. What? What? The way home. So we started a new quest. So there is a quest here. Oops. So, <laughs> so there is a quest here. And this is pretty exciting. So, I knew that either if there was a quest here, I would do the quest. Or if it wasn't there, I would just explore the place. But it turns out we can't explore the place. Oh my god, what? No. Where is this voice coming from? <laughs> what? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I have an ebony sword. I do not think I need a katana or whatever it's called. What is it? Katana? I don't know. But I don't need it. Because I have an ebony sword. I think I'm good. Anyway. Because we'll have to get ourselves a sword. Glenroy's Akraviri katana. I like my spell sword thing a lot, a lot better. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go full out mage for this battle. Or, I don't know what's gonna pop up. But I'm gonna go full out mage. Okay, we gotta meet him at the Cloud Ruler Temple. Cloud. Yeah, Cloud Ruler Temple. Oh, well. Okay, okay, fine. We'll have to wield his weapon. Where is Glenroy? Oh, man. Oh. Whoa. Okay, let's go. It's a one-handed weapon. This might actually be better than my ebony. I thought it was a two-handed weapon. Hmm. He's a ghost. You're a ghost. you dead, too. Obviously. Destroyed. What? So, I'm not asking what happened here. I don't want to reveal the news he's dead to. Tell me, what happened here? I'm just gonna break the news to him. You're dead as well. Comforting. Lead me back 
in the Great Hall, in the round right before. Perhaps then they'll be able to feel our cage embrace at last. Is he gonna kill himself? Wait, one sec. Let me quickly check if this is better than my ebony sword. So, my ebony sword is fine. So, 28 damage. Okay. 36 damage. Oh, yeah. I need to put... I need to charge that up with my... I'll use my greater soul gem. So, I charge up my ebony sword. Yeah, I need to use my ebony sword. But this is not that bad. Move out the way, Jazago. Okay, there we go. So, I think he's gonna kill himself. But, hmm. Oh, whoa. Is this Alina or whatever? Corvon and Alina. Set all the blade spirits free. Uh, how do I do this? The fire burns brightly bef before you. Razlan asked that you place the blades of three ghostly blades members into the fire so they may rest in peace. Okay. Hey, move. Okay. So we gotta get Alina. And here's a okay, so we found her Akaviri. Well, sorry about that. Is it good? Okay, so we found her Akaviri katana, and we're going back out, and we're gonna put it in the flames. Place her katana. You're welcome. So we're we are releasing all the blade spirits. So now we're going to the west wing, and let's see if we can find Corvon. Is this blade right here? Akaviri Katana. And now let's go back, and let's place his blade into the flame to release his spirit. <laughs> okay, and here's Roslan, and please Corvon. And last one is Roslan. Oh yeah, his skeleton's somewhere over here too. Where was this? Alina? We already got her, so. We need to find Roslyn. Or an Akaviri Katana. Oof. Where's Roslyn? Search skeleton. No. I don't think that's it. It's Roslyn. Roslan, Akaviri, Katana. Uh, I don't need the heavy armor because I'm wearing light armor and I'm a light armor wielder, I guess. Okay, so now we have to. We found Roslan's Akaviri, Katana. Now we have to go and put it into the flame to set uh, everybody free. I think we put everybody's blade into the frame. Flame. Uh, let's see what happens. Yes, let's let, let us speak. Us, you have my You're welcome. You may keep Glenroy's blade. My soul will empower it. It is an ancient artifact of our order, but our order is broken. Use it to uphold our legacy. Uh, Glenroy's empowered. Is this is this better? Okay, twenty eight damage, ten points of fire damage, or ten points of extra. So it's basically like, let me see how, how quick this attack speed is. It's like normal. So I'm gonna use my ebony blade. Oh, wait, no, not the ebony blade. Whoa, uh, 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 whoa. Um, ebony sword. Here we go. What's up, Jazargo? Okay, so I guess we're going to go back to Bruma. And I guess we'll end the episode there. I know it's been a short episode, but. We, at least we vis visited the Cloud Ruler Temple. It's an ancient temple. I, I used to play Oblivion, and it was a great temple. Yeah, um, Cloud Ruler Temple.
so I guess it was destroyed by the Thalmor, who, I guess, raided the uh, Cyrodiil, I guess. And the Emperor was weak, and he did not want to do anything. And the temple was overrun by these Aldermary Dominion people. So overall, they just got overrun by the Dominion. Hmm. Okay. So, now that we're back in Bruma, lovely old Bruma. Guys, I just want to tell you something. There, there are different other, there are, I guess, there are other different mods that this Beyond, like, Skyrim team is working on. There is Beyond Skyrim Roskria, Beyond, Sky, Beyond Skyrim Cyrodiil, which is the rest of Cyrodiil, Beyond Skyrim Morrowind, Beyond Skyrim, uh, what you call it, Elsewhere. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, that this Beyond Skyrim team is working on and judging by this one mod Beyond Skyrim Bruma this many quests there's a boss chest here but this many quests and all they did was add in one major city that is insane think about what they can do with Beyond Skyrim Cyrodiil it's gonna be amazing uh, I also heard about another mod where basically they recreate like Elder Scrolls Morrowind and Elder Scrolls Cyrodiil Using the Skyrim engine, which is a better engine. Uh, this is really. Whoa. What? Oh, I talked. Uh, what? Uh, I'm just gonna ignore him. Okay. Anyway, think about what Beyond Skyrim Cyrodiil can do. Think about what Beyond Sky and Morrowind can do. This is just amazing. <laughs> uh, I can't wait till those mods come out for Skyrim. Although, I think Elder Scrolls 6. Hopefully. Bethesda, if you're watching this video right now, which you're probably not, you need to work on Elder Scrolls 6. I just can't wait for that. Uh, it's, it's just an amazing mod. Anyway, I think we're going to end the episode on top of his, on top of this guy's house. If I can get up here, you know, I can't. Okay, I'll just get, end right here. Uh, actually, parkour. Oh, never mind. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this week's episode of Beyond Skyrim Bruma. Make sure you subscribe for more content like this every single week. I know I was off. I was like off schedule today, but I'll, hopefully I'll get back on schedule next week. Uh, see you guys next time. Mr. Jingles out.